Here in Germany, there has been disappointment for thousands of fans heading to one of the world's biggest heavy metal festivals, Wacken. Organisers have been forced to limit attendance at the event after days of rain turned the grounds into a giant mud pit. 50,000 out of the 85,000 expected visitors have already arrived, but the rest have been told that they won't be allowed onto the festival grounds. Organisers say ticket holders refused entry will receive refunds. Well, DW reporter Inika Mules is one of the lucky ones who got into the festival and she told us how metal fans are coping with the mud. This year's Wacken open air threatened to fall into the mud quite literally. As you can see around me, there is no shortage of mud at this festival. Uh, but it seems things have been going ahead and you can tell by the mood around here, people are pretty happy, they're jovial. People are extremely happy to have finally made it to the campgrounds here. For some context, this is Germany's largest metal festival and usually we'll expect around 85,000 people here every year. But the copious amounts of rain, which is falling down right now, as you can see, has put a stop to that. And we would usually see plenty of people camping here over the week, but the organizers put a stop to that late last night, saying we have an admission stop. Anyone who is already not in the campground cannot come in. They were pulling people in with tractors. It was just scenes of complete chaos, we could see. Uh, but the festival seems to be going ahead. There were a lot of concerns among fans that it may have been cancelled. There were people that we spoke to, our team spoke to, who made the journey here hours um, on the Autobahn and decided to turn around anyway because it was just not livable uh, in these conditions. But as you can see, plenty of people did made it. The festival does seem to be going ahead as planned. We have not heard anything else from the organisers up to this point. There are some huge bands playing here. We've got Iron Maiden headlining. We've got Megadeth headlining as well. They are the biggest bands that people here want to see. They will not be playing until Friday this week. So until then, people have finally been let onto the field. They are settling in for what's going to be most likely a very long and rainy week. But the organizers are deciding hour by hour what decisions they're going to make here. People are still concerned that they may be here for a day or two and then be asked to turn around and go home. We're just not sure at this point, but as you can see, people are making the most of it hour by hour.